Hello, how are you doing? Today we're going to do a valve adjustment. Valve adjustment, you need it once in a while, maybe every time, uh, every two years, uh, every 10,000 miles, something like that, you know, more or less. Uh, how you know? You know because you're trying to push in the throttle and your scooter is not performing. You know because it's your scooter, it's not really starting the right way, right, right away, okay? So, there's something wrong. And uh, do not think, neglect that, because uh, for the valve adjustment, you need to do as soon as possible, because uh, your engine is warming up, it's getting too hot right away. So before you damage your engine, or your motor, or the scooter, you need to do a valve adjustment, okay? Unfortunately, it's gonna take a little time, and uh, it's gonna take a little skills, not too much, but just a little bit, okay? So, the valves are right here, okay? in the top of your engine there is the valve covers right here and that's where you have to open okay to expose the valves okay the first thing you can do is to remove this part right here of your scooter it's all plastic right you have two screws on the top one on the right side one on the left side and then you're gonna remove this part right here plastic be careful because it's plastic and it might break okay Place the screw in a place where you're not going to forget where they are, okay? And make sure you don't leave it on the floor, because you leave it on the floor, your tire, they're like a magnet, and they're going to stick on your tire, okay? They're gonna be there on your tire. So place the screw in a place where you're not going to forget it. Now, if you like, you can only remove this little door where is the spark plug. But you want to work with a little more comfortable. You want to be working comfortably, okay? So. You have a screw down here, too. A screw down here, a screw up here, a screw on the other side. Remove this plastic part and place it away from you. Away from the scooter so you're not gonna step on it, okay? Okay, this is the valve cover, okay? You're going to have a four bolt right here. Those bolt uh, they are 8 millimeter. Make sure. Okay, you're going to need an 8 millimeter socket, okay, to remove the valve cover. Loosen one screw, one bolt at a time, okay? Do not lose uh, one top and then one bottom. Kind of to, to go, try to go as a cross, okay? Okay. Try to screw, unscrew one bolt right here. Now this is not the best pleasant job you can do in your scooter, right? But, you know, it is what it is. You have to work with the scooter, okay? Now, you can start to unscrew by hand because you can screw them a little bit with a socket and then you can screw them with it by hand, okay? I like better by hand because sometimes you have the feeling, okay? What's going on? Because you never know if the bolt goes the right, wrong way, you know, you, you can unthread the head of your scooter, you know, so. Okay.
Now, with the, when the, the valve are not working right properly, they really affect the performance of your scooter, okay? Now, if you don't have an, a lot of space here, I understand, uh, you can remove the sides of your scooter to the part of the body on the left and right side. You know, you know what is the thing is with the scooters? I really like to move less plastic as much as I can, okay? Because these scooters, they're nice, I like them, but they're made of plastic and if you move all the plastic, it's gonna break. Yeah, sooner or later you're gonna break, break all the plastic. Make sure you do this job when your scooter is on your st center, center stand, okay? Because you cannot do this job when your scooter is not on the center stand because you might put your scooter to the ground, okay? You wanna, have, you wanna make sure your scooter is firm, okay? Doesn't move. Another thing that you have to do, you have to do this job when the scooter is cold, why? Number one, you're gonna burn your hands, okay? The scooter is very hot. Number two, when you're going to fix the gap between the valve and the, and the stem, the arm, it's not gonna be the same reading, okay? Because your scooter is hot. You see this line that is connected to the head cover, to the valve cover, this line, this green ground. Do not disconnect this one, okay? Make sure later you're going to reconnect this one to the motor, okay? Right after you open the valve cover, you're going to see the valve, one on the top, one on the bottom. And you're going to see the rock arm right here, rocker arm. You're going to see the nut right here on the top and the adjustment screw right here on the top, okay? So, after you open this one, what you're gonna do, you're going to put your piston to a top that center that will be on the higher side of the motor. That's when the two valves, they're gonna be closed at the same time. There's two way to see that. One way is right here. There is three holes with the chain, the spoke, the pocket right here. There is two small holes, one large hole. The large hole should be in the center. And the two small holes, they should be on the side, okay? Now to do that, you got to go to the flywheel and turn the flywheel clockwise and you're going to make to a, this turn, okay? So you're going to have the clamshaft that is going to be flat, okay? Now there is also a mark in the flywheel. The mark is the T mark, okay? That's where the piston is on top that center, okay? You want these two valves be closed. The intake valve and the exhaust valve, you want them closed, okay? Okay, right here, we have the flywheel with the fan, okay? There is a little hole right here on the left side. I want you to open this one. That will show you the flywheel, okay? Flywheel. Now the best one, if you remove the fan cover and you're going to see the flywheel clearly with the T mark on the flywheel, okay? Because you really want to make sure that you're going to get this piston at top that center, okay? Unfortunately, you cannot see too much from this little hole right here. So it's better if you remove the cover and you're sure what you're really doing, okay? Okay, to remove this fan cover, you have two screws right here, the Phillips screw. 
you take them out, put them on the side where you're going to remember where they are, okay? Now, down here, up here, we have one that is a bolt uh, that is eight millimeter, okay? Okay, this time, at this moment, you can move uh, the fan cover, okay? Put it underneath your scooter. Again, make sure you do this work when the scooter is cold. There is a kind of like a bolt at the fan that you can turn. It's a 40 millimeter bolt right here on the center of the fan. So you can move the fan, you know, when you don't move the fan cover okay but since you move the cover so you can see a better thing you don't really need that okay now at this point you're going to see the flywheel behind the fan okay did you see this part right here I want you to pay attention to this part right here this part is what needs to be aligned with the T line okay so I want you to turn the fan and find the T. Clockwise, okay? Okay. Did you see this T? Right here? Right here. That's where your piston is going to be to a dead center, okay? Top dead center. right here top that center for your piston the confirmation of this top that center is that you go up front uh, where is the chain and you're going to see the center hole to be big and two small one on the side okay okay for you to have the confirmation that you did the right work uh, on the flywheel you should see like a large hole right here okay and on the side should be two small holes and those holes they should be horizontally or flat to the motor head right here okay so pay attention okay this is the large hole and your piston at this moment should be at top that center okay now another thing you can do you can try to move the rocket arm right here and those arm they should be wiggle if they do wiggle you should be okay that's where you have your that center top that center piston at the moment okay the intake right here on the top should be a four thousand of an inch the one underneath a five thousand of an inch so what you're going to get, you're going to get the filler gouge and you're going to test them. If they don't have the, that kind of specific thing, you have to unscrew the lock bolt and adjust it, okay? Okay, before you adjust the valves, I want you to check the top valve with the 4,000 of an inch. Now, you should have a <coughs> light drag, but look like it's not even going in, okay? So, there is not enough space, okay? So, we need to adjust this valve 4,000 of an inch. Okay, and the one underneath that is the 
exhaust at 5,000 an inch, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. So to loosen the lock nut right here at the valve, you need to have a nine millimeter, a nine millimeter wrench right here, okay? Right after you loosen a little bit the nut, the lock nut, you can loosen it by hand a little bit, okay? Not too much, just a little bit so you can work with the top screw, okay? That is gonna give the distance of the gap, okay? Now at this point you can slightly loose and twist the top right here, okay? You're gonna test with the light gra light you know, light drag you're going to test you're going to test at 4000 of an inch so you can screw in by hand you want to have the light drag okay you're going to go to back and forth to see if you have a light drag at four thousand of an inch okay as soon as you have a light drag you can start to tight the lock nut right here by hand Testing, okay. Okay, right here. Remember that when you tie the top one, the lock when you tie the long nut, lock nut right here, the one in the center is gonna try to twist. So you should hold this the top with the needle plier so it's not gonna move and you're going to tight the lock nut a little stronger, okay? Okay, at this point you're going to place The wrench that is nine millimeter right here and you're going to squeeze the top of the screw that is going to regulate your gap okay in a way that is not going to move when you're going to twist a lock nut okay Gonna, you're gonna work in a tight space right here. Okay, right after you tight the lock nut, you wanna make sure you have, you're going to have a light drag on the gap of the valve. Okay, a light drag. Okay. Now, after you're done with this one, you can go underneath and you can fix the exhaust valve okay
all right down, down here at the exhaust okay this one the exhaust valve I want you to have uh, a 5,000 of an inch okay so what you're gonna do you're gonna test it before even before you can you can unscrew the bolt the knock the lock bolt okay right here so you need to test it before if you see this one was not going inside so that means that my space is not even existing I want you to loosen the lock nut on the top, okay? So you can work with the center twist, okay? Right here. Now, if you see that I didn't have any space, so what you have to do, I have to go back and give a little space, a little room. You slightly unscrew the inside, okay? And uh, slightly loose the lock nut right here, okay? You slightly unscrew the inside to give a little more room to the valve, okay? Remember, the valve of the exhaust has to be 5,000 of an inch. gonna feel a light drag okay light drag try to see about like that light drag you gonna add some space to the valve okay if for this valve they're not adjusted right they're gonna compromise the performance of your scooter okay a light drag is perfect now when you have a light drag you can start to turn the lock nut by hand okay and if you think you're right right there if you have a light drag you can tie it but you don't want the center part to move that will be the screw in the center okay the one that takes care of the gap okay so with the needle plier or with the wise plier okay you, you want to stop that turning okay so you stop the center and you turn the lock nut okay Okay, after you've done this, I want you to recheck your gap, okay? So, remember, underneath at the exhaust, 5,000 inch of an inch, okay? Above at the intake, it's going to be 4,000 of an inch, okay? Okay, up here. You need to have 4,000 of an inch up here. I want you to check and recheck this one before you're going to close. Uh, you know, you need to have a light drag up here. Before you're going to close the cover. If you close the cover, the valve cover, and never is not right, your screw is not going to work, work perfectly, okay?
make sure the lock nut is tight but not too much you don't want to break nothing okay okay at this point I want you to clean around right here around your motor okay make sure it's nice and clean okay okay before you put your cover back I want you to clean it okay make an inspection make sure there is nothing there soon enough supposed to be there actually even pieces of metal you know keep your eyes open if there's piece of metal is grinding somewhere okay so make sure it's nice and clean and uh, look for breaks uh, in the gasket okay this is a gasket rubber gasket you can buy a new one if you like or you can use uh, JB Wild uh, gasket maker excellent okay so we're gonna make a little gasket around this one is gonna be resistant to heat so it's not gonna burn so what you're gonna do you're gonna open you're gonna make a little hole in the tube right here don't get your hands dirty messy okay you have a little nose right here what you're gonna do you're gonna cut the top part right here and you're gonna make a little line right here okay be gentle and slightly generous you know Do not put not too much, not too little. Just the perfect amount, okay? Okay, after you spread the JB Well gasket maker, you let it dry for about three minutes. Okay, after three minutes, you're gonna place this cover back in its location. Okay. Let the JB weld at least dry for two to three minutes and then you can place this cover back. The JB weld gasket maker is a silicone made and uh, is great to make sure if your gasket cover is not flush to correct that, okay? You can find this silicone maker, silicone gasket maker in online for about a dollar okay and i love this stuff you know to make sure my motor is not gonna leak okay okay after the silicone is lightly dry you can place the cover back now look at the shape of the cover and look at the shape of the motor you want to put this cover the same way it matched the shape of the motor okay you don't want to put it upside down or flip it around so be gentle and make sure you match the cover especially make sure you match the holes of the motor start the screw 
the bolt by hand up. And then later, you can use the wrench or you can use the socket. Okay? But at the moment, use your hands. Now there's a ground wire on the top left side of your scooter of the cover okay make sure you put the ground wire back if not you're gonna burn all the wires because you don't have any ground on your engine okay so make sure you put back the ground wire at the valve cover you know what I did that one time I forgot it I brought, I, I fry all the wiring of my magneto, starter, bobina, okay, starter, because my motor did not have any ground, so <clears throat> that was not good, I did not have a good experience. Now I want you to start all the bolt by hand uh, just in case uh, your bolt goes sideways uh, you're going to have a problem because you're going to unthread the screw or you're going to unthread the motor top okay you don't want to do that now when you screw the screw the bolts go one at a time, a little bit at a time, okay? Okay, everybody, we just adjust the valve on your GY 650cc scooter. I hope that was kind of easy for you. I hope that helped you out this video to see and understand about the valves, okay? Now, the only thing you need to do now is to put back the fan cover right here, the plastic in front of your seat, okay? And then after that, you're done, okay? Thank you very much for watching my video and uh, feel free to subscribe and if you like go to my channel right on the top where you see community over there you're gonna see a lot of information for your gy 650 cc scooter okay thank you very much and uh, have a great day